So Xbox just confirmed that they will be buying more studios and the rumor says that it might be Take-Two, it might be EA. I do know that some of you might be looking like this. We also got news on the PS5 Pro and that PS5 Slim. We also had the last of us in the news and people are angry, people are mad. With that, I just wanna get right into the story. Drop a thumbs up if you're a Giga Chat and coming in at our number 11 spot, ladies and gentlemen. It but I get spicy. Shout out to the homie, the following post for adding me in the situation. Homie Slushy got caught with his pants down dropping Lamau's. I mean, how many times you see people saying Lamau, but it's not funny, like nobody's laughing? <laughs> okay. A company sued Activision claiming an Infinite Warfare character was similar to one in their book. Yep, another one, everybody, another one. And then this is where the plot twist hit real hard because then a judge sanctions the lawyer who sued saying the entire lawsuit could have been avoided if the lawyer just played the first hour of the camp. Bumbo Cut! My guy, you need to start reading instructions on water bottles before you start drinking them, okay? You dumbass, the lawyer. <laughs> After six years, you think that the world is perfect, but no. The worst Call of Duty ever made anyway, so let her win. <laughs> Bro, what the actual? Who are these people? Oh my god, the homie moons out there. I've helped hundreds of thousands of people get the PS5. If you have helped hundreds and thousands of people getting that PS5, we're gonna let you live, brother. Yeah, you, you cool, brother. You're a giga chat. Smash the like button, subscribe right now for the homie. But after failing to conduct a proper research for an active lawsuit, a judge has irrationally deemed that lawyer has not played enough color. <laughs> Enough Call of Duty. He ended up getting bumble cut. Oh well, like, God damn it. WRL, WRL, you let me know. But coming in at our number 10 spot, Activision has now apologized for that same old skin. They're apparently talking about this furry skin, right? And this is something that we ended up getting not only in Call of Duty Van Garbage, but also in Call of Duty Warzone. If Babushka saw that, she would have died. <laughs> I mean, if an ex Activision employee who made the original Modern Warfare 2, he would have died by seeing this absolute pathetic joke, right? But Activision has apologized for the skin in Van Garbage and Call of Duty Warzone, which an artist claimed was stolen without credit. The company says that they have removed the skin completely and apologized to the artist. WRL, you decide, but also for this situation. <laughs> You gotta do 20 pounds of copium because Naughty Dog came out and they said that get ready to hit the dusty trail for a beautiful and dangerous journey across America in The Last of Us Part 1. And they ends up dropping like this graphics comparison. You can see this is the Sony Pony 4 PS4 and this is a Sony Pony 5. I do play on a console. I'm a console peasant. I got console player eyes, but even me, I just cannot see a massive difference. In certain aspects, the PS4 version looks better, dude. Yeah, the textures are better in PS5, but it's not even half bad. Do we really need a $70 upgrade? for a game that is perfectly fine as is. And people started eating them alive. Rebuild from the ground up for the PS5, but it looks exactly like part two, which is a PS4 game from the ground up. Can someone explain this to me? It is just false or misleading marketing. Literally all the replies are negative. Like, and this is probably the best reply I have ever seen in my 25, 26 years of, of being on planet earth. My 26th birthday is coming up. So let's go for three <laughs> likes on the video. A toothpick changes everything. <laughs> There are some people that are defending Naughty Dog. There are some people saying that, yo, $70 is not too much. Get your bread. The situation is kind of crazy. Like, god damn. But also, you want to know what? For this story, you want to consider this, okay? We have this device free of charge. We send this to everybody that needs it. You're a Chad. I'm not even talking about you. So why are you even worried? You're not even worried. That, that's why you're a Chad. But if you see a brother in need, maybe you have a friend, maybe you have a toddler running around. Maybe you know someone that really gets offended. You might want to hand this device wise to them for absolutely free because now a study reveals most popular video game consoles claims that PlayStation beats Xbox. <laughs> That's gonna be all the soya boys and cucks getting triggered over this situation because right now a new study claims to reveal the most popular video game consoles on social media as well as the most popular console manufacturers. But hold on, wait a minute. This study was conducted by top rated casinos. I mean, these dumbass, like they don't even know what's real and what's not. My guy, I'm not sure if that's like a real casino or not, but these casinos, websites, or whatever the F they call themselves as, they only care about sucking everybody's wallets dry, okay? They just care about one thing and one thing only, and that's your time. That's why they do not put clocks in casinos. They, they just want to suck your money dry. They don't even give a damn about you. So th this is where the study is coming from. I know some of the bots would be like, oh, tango, tango. No need to worry, but I'm pretty sure like the Giga Chads are like, skizzle, don't even worry, man. Like, be good, fam. But PlayStation Showcase happening this month says new rumor. First of all, I shout out to the homies for adding me in the situation. This rumor is uh, coming from Special Next. I asked if Sony had a show planned for September and got told that at the 
moment the plans is for a show in August but just to make sure those that want to be pissed at me will be I'm not sure if it will be more was also part of the replies in simpler stud muffin terms I do know that some of you will be like skizzle did you forget like I'm a stud muffin like can you explain that in simpler terms well apparently we're hearing that it can be happening this month in August but it can be pushed back to September it might also happen in October it might also happen in November if it doesn't happen by then then it's surely gonna be happening next year that's essentially what we're hearing okay and for this story I genuinely feel like that a lot of people will start to read instructions on water bottles which you should not I mean you're a giga chat for a reason because we're in the after Bethesda had Activision Microsoft is still looking forward to more studios acquisition for a game pad. Damn, okay, damn, god damn, man, you gotta stop buying the studios out there, Activision, or I should say, Microsoft, dummy. And same goes for Sony, like, first we're gonna see, like, Microsoft buy, then Sony's gonna cry, then Sony is gonna buy another studio, and then Microsoft is gonna be like, yo, bro, how dare you buy that studio, now we're gonna try and buy another studio, like, damn, man, like, everybody's out there, like, trying to buy studios after studios, and listen, man, the rumor here is that, they might actually buy take two or ee no! i do know for the fact that es says that they don't want to be bought out hey man we want to stay independent we're independent we're strong and independent that's what like ea is saying but at the end of the day can you actually believe them they are the ones that actually made don't be sad it just be like that sometimes i forgot whatever the f that quote was right but listen man whoever ends up buying take two the other party gotta wave the white flag i don't think gta 6 will ever be an exclusive to a platform like whether it's sony buying take two i do know that sony and rockstar games they're very tight their relationship has been tighter than a bumhole out there like let's keep a buck 50 dog like smash like gonna subscribe right now if i'm spitting facts but i seriously don't think that gta 6 will ever go exclusive no matter who buys them it might actually be timed exclusive maybe for a week maybe for three days maybe maybe for a month but listen man this season three ending is looking bad this is looking bad out there but i'm actually kind of interested to see some drama because right now it's kind of boring out there it's like really dry so i'm kind of interested in seeing like who's gonna buy who i mean sony already confirmed they're gonna be buying someone now microsoft is saying that they're gonna be buying someone it's gonna get real crazy dog also shout out to the homie luke for adding me in the situation man says that why go outside and touch grass when you can take the grass with you and he actually ends up sending me this picture and listen man if you buy this you're a dumbass these moments out there pricing this thing for a thousand pounds and calling this a 45 percent off bro grass is free just go out there pinch some grass buy ten dollar slippers you dumbass put some grass on those slippers and that's it for 10 bucks you can get that versus like 579 or however bull squash they're, they're trying to put if you buy this you need a doctor okay like seriously get that f up but also shout out to the homie ali for adding me in this situation apparently we're hand that got them Nights. <laughs> there are no microtransactions in Gotham Knights. Are you sure about that? Like, are you actually, like, for real sure about that? <laughs> Do you mean no microtransactions at launch only and then we're gonna get microtransactions? But honestly, I'm kind of pulling their leg. It's actually good news, dog. Like, it's really good news. I do know that there are some people that want to get this game. There are some people that are not feeling this game. But the fact that they're actually confirming that there won't be any microtransactions, that means that maybe the game is gonna be coming out content rich. So I can, I can respect that for sure. But Square Enix has reportedly confirmed it's looking to sell stakes in its studios. And apparently it's not Sony. The publisher is said to be looking for ways to concentrate its resources on Japanese games. Square Enix wants to sell stakes uh, of some of its development studios, so they're not selling themselves fully. Because previously we did hear that Sony, Sony is gonna be buying the entirety of uh, Square Enix. Wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. But now we're hearing that they're only selling part of their studios, and by the looks of it, Sony actually might buy someone else, and it's kind of I'm not sure because according to Gibson, the sale of Crystal Dynamics and Adios to Embracer Group was phase one of Square Enix plans and phase two will be diversification of studios capital structure and we're also hearing that they're about to change like easter eggs orientation of Tomb Raider I mean that is one of my favorite franchises they about to ruin that franchise too like listen man Square Enix please do not ruin your franchise and man that's all I ask bruh but coming in at our number two spot I heard that you're an oil prince right you got all 
the money in the world. You ready to buy PS5 Pro? Well, look no further because rumor. <laughs> Sony NAV 6 NM chips with TSMC and AMD for new hardware suggest PS5 Pro Slim is on the horizon. And previously, like, I believe there was like a manufacturing company that did say that a brand new Xbox, a brand new PS5 Pro is scheduled for 2023, 2024. And it does sound realistic because we have heard this rumor multiple times. We have also seen patterns and the fact that that manufacturing company was openly talking about it behind the scenes, obviously. They were openly talking behind the scenes about a new PS5 Pro and Xbox. It seems very likely to me that it's gonna happen. Take this with a mighty pinch of salt but it's been reported via zubby tech on twitter that sony has secured a 6 nm manufacturing process for new hardware with tsmc and amd which points in the direction of us getting that much rumored ps5 pro and slim but click on this video on the screen because xbox they got caught with their pants down they're lying big time through their teeth and sony is really mad click on it and i'll see you right there and subscribe don't get bumble